Welcome jazz lovers around the world. My name is Joseph Farnsworth. Today is part two, ballads, playing brushes by the masters. We have Louis Hayes, Fidel Fournier, Idris Mohammed, Roy Haynes, my old roomie, Jimmy Lovelace. I was talking to my neighbor, Louis Hayes, the other day. He said the two most important things with the brushes and ballads is sounds and to make it look good. That's why the brush is so personal. You got to make it look good the way you see it. He learned from Papa Joe Jones to play the whole surface of the drum. So I named this stroke the hubcap because he's from Detroit. This is Stars Fall on Alabama with, with Vince Herring at Smoke. Left hand, all the brushes in the drum, the right hand slide into that beat. That's tricky for me because it's clockwise. Next up, Fidel Fournier. I used to see him with Clifford Jordan and Ari Rowland down at Condens. This is Autumn in New York. I call his stroke the Pelican. Just back and forth. Smooth and effortless is the way he played and the way he looked. The thing about him was his face drum was like a hammer. You could feel it in your ribs, it wasn't loud, it was just big. This stroke you can play with uh, basically at any tempo. Next up is the great Idris Mohammed, also from New Orleans. And I call this stroke the alligator. He played with Lou Donaldson. Harlem Nocturne at the Vanguard. And it's like it's like Brunel's, but it's more like a heart shape and with a more circular at the top. So just imagine you're drawing a heart on the snare drum. Idris played the bass drum in funeral marches in New Orleans. So he always said you got to play the drums from the bottom up, never from the top down from the bottom. Like Fresnel from New Orleans, his bass drum, you could just feel it right in your ribs. It wasn't loud, you just could feel it. This is Idris Mohammed, the alligator. Now the greatest, Roy Haynes. I used to hang out with Roy after his gigs at the Blue Note, and we all we talked about was Sarah Vaughn. And he said, oh, I love playing the brush with Sarah. And he got up and tap dance or like some of his brush strokes. And he said, man, stairway to the stars. And it was so hip. I said, what does that mean? And he's like, that's my brush stroke. He said, check it out. He says, a stairway to the stars and climb the stairway He's this star. Look at that brush stroke. And then you do something which he called stepping. It's double time, but it's just, it's ballad tempo, it just keeps it moving. Same stroke, same brush pattern. Last, my roommate, Jimmy Lovelace. I was going on the road with Diana Crawl. He says, hey man, I'm gonna show you something I learned in Kansas City. I like to call it El Dos. I said, what does El Dos mean? He says, number two. And so this is what I love to use with singers like Diana Crawl, Cecile Savant, recently with Veronica Swift. It's just counterclockwise and do the number two with the right hand. El Dose, Jimmy Lovelace. Used to play with Benny Golson. I remember Clifford, really slow. Da, 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 da. You gotta really open it up. 
Remember to make it smooth, big sound, and always make it look good. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll be back next week with some other greats like Pete LaRocca and Jimmy Cobb. Happy Thanksgiving.